Well, now that the series is over, I promise that I talk about the Lakers and the Thunder with you guys when it ends. You know, I'm covering the Sharks, but I can also talk to Lakers too. <clears throat> that was a scary game, and um, wow, the series was really tough. Uh, props to the Thunder. You know, you guys are going to be a solid playoff team for the next five years for sure. Um, I can guarantee that for the most part. Um, you know, my voice is kind of dying, but I can quickly make this good. One thing I will say is this this game wasn't easy, and we knew that. Kobe Bryant may have been ball hogging, but he did his job shooting 12 and 25 from the field. Did well from three-point land. <clears throat> you know, the Lakers really stepped it up from the three-point line. Uh, a lot of props there. I mean, 50% from three-point land probably saved us this game. Uh, the free throws need work, and uh, that's going to be a big issue. But tonight, we got the job done, and it wasn't pretty. Props to the Thunder all the way for making shots, especially down the stretch. Durant had a down off night, you know, shooting 5 of 23. Uh, did well from the line, but that's, that's mostly where his points came from. You know, Russell Westbrook, my former UCLA Bruin, he was, he was owning us at times yeah, throughout the series. You know, Game 4 and Game 3, they might have uh, beat us and looks like we could have had a letdown, but the experts got this right. They said six games. And as I said before, the West is very deep. It's not even an upset when some one team beats another because everyone in the West has 50 wins at minimum. So, there, as as I just showed with the Spurs beating the Mavericks, uh, not, not an upset in my opinion, but because I had the Spurs winning, not really, but sure felt that way. What we, the Lakers do need to look forward to, but whether it's the Nuggets or Jazz, is just really focus and play defense. You know, Andrew Bynum lost motivation at times. Uh, you know, three second calls. Those were frustrating to watch. Uh, I couldn't believe what I was watching there. And, uh, there needs to be a little bit of work with what the Lakers are doing, but for the most part, they got the job done tonight, as ugly as it was. And it wasn't Kobe Bryant who hits the game-winning shot. Of course, as you saw, it was Pau Gasol with a tip in. You know, Pau Gasol is the heart of this team. If he shows up, there's a very strong chance how the Lakers will play. If not, then, uh, you know, Kobe might try to carry the team, and that's not what we want. We want a team play. Gasol had 18 rebounds. That's where he really did contribute tonight. And, uh, really huge game. So the bench even stepped up. They, were, they let Kobe Bryant rest for a long time there. And uh, they still won. It was ugly, but I'll take it. Games, you know, game four was nasty, but this team just needs to show heart for the next round. And uh, they better not take the Nuggets or the Jazz for granted uh, as things go on. But very, once again, big props to the Thunder. You know, they played a good series, and they're going to be a good playoff team for the future. They're just young, and uh, as an inexperienced showed with Durant, you know, there are times he was hot, times he was cold. Tonight, he didn't shoot well from the field. And um, those were pretty open shots, too. So. But it is what it is. You guys are young. You guys will be solid in the future. But right now, it's all about the Lakers. Good job on the win. Talk about grinding it out. And uh, let's move on to the next round. I'll preview the next series. Probably won't talk game, well, not talk game by game because the Sharks are still in. But if the Sharks are eliminated or... Uh, out early, then I'll be talking game by game. But I will preview the Jazz or the Nuggets, depending on who we play. We'll see you guys later, and let's go Lakers.